Hey there, YouTube friends. I'm making a couple videos tonight, but I'm making me some dinner right here. What I got is a bunch of uh, smoked salmon. That's the last of my salmon that I caught and smoked up earlier this year. I kind of diced it all up, and I'm going to make some salmon patties out of it. Uh, normally, you'd use some um, just some regular old cooked salmon, but I got smoked salmon, so that's what I'm going to use. And this is a really good recipe I scored off out of my fishing magazine a couple years back. I'm going to alter it a little bit tonight, but uh, it should be good. So um, I made some uh, mayonnaise earlier, and I have some egg whites left over, so I'm going to add them in there. That was three egg whites. Um, normally, I'd use a whole egg, but that's what I had, so that's what I'm going to use. I got a, a couple, two and a half tablespoons of Parmesan, dried Parmesan. Didn't have any fresh stuff. I'd use that if I had it, but I don't. Um, Here's about a quarter of an onion. Let's add some of that in there. Get that out there, you guys can see it. All right, got that in there. I got a little bit of a saltine crackers. I munched up, crunched up real good. So I'm just gonna mix this stuff up. Make some patties out of this stuff. Get it nice and mixed up real good. Try to squeeze it up and break up that smoked salmon best I can. That stuff kind of sticks together a little bit, but I'm gonna make it into some patties. And I got some bacon grease simmering on the stove top. So I'm going to make these into some patties and stick them, stick them on the grill, or on the, in the fry pan I should say. Don't have the grill out. So just hang tight and we'll get some patties going here. That just dawned on me, uh, I forgot one important ingredient, some mayno mayonnaise that I just made. I'm going to slap some of that in there. And oil in there will help fry them up good and it'll give it a little bit of a flavor too. Add a few more breadcrumbs too because it was kind of dry. So we'll just get this all mixed up. Oh yeah, that's gonna make good patties now. That'll be really good. Okay, we'll get her on the griddle here in a little bit. Alrighty, there they are. Cooking away. I imagine these ones will kind of fall apart when uh, I go to flip them, but they sure are going to be tasty. Uh, a couple things I didn't mention is so a lot of times I'll use instead of just breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs, I'll use uh, um, like brown rice, cooked brown rice or cooked rice, or uh, add some oatmeal. Um, you just add breadcrumbs. That's kind of make it a little bit salty unless you use the uns or not breadcrumbs, but uh, saltine crackers might make it a little salty um, with that cheese in there and that, uh, that parmesan and that mayo that makes it a little salty plus this is smoked fish anyway so it's good this can be really rich <clears throat> so I recommend uh, going easy on saltines and adding some either some oatmeal or some rice or some breadcrumbs that aren't salted or flavored but uh, we'll get the lid on this baby, let it fry up, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what she looks like. Alright, well I just got them flipped over. I guess they held together better than I thought they would. They looked really nice. Really good. So, just let it go like that for a couple more minutes on that side, and we'll be ready to rock. Alright, there's my dinner. I got the old salmon patty, a piece of French bread, and a big old blob of mashed taters. Let's give this a little shot and see how she tastes. Give that a good taste. Yeah, buddy, that's good stuff. This is Birchmark Johnny. If you like this video, give me some feedback, like it, comment. Appreciate any subscriptions. Bruce Rock Johnny here signing out. Have a good night.